Welcome guys, so I've been using the OnePlus 9 Pro for the past two weeks, and this is my review on its gaming performance. And it has some serious issues when playing certain games, especially if you play Claw, but I will tell you about it later on this video, anyway the reason I bought this phone is because it has a Snapdragon 888 chipset, which is the most powerful chipset right now, at least on Android, obviously the iPhone 12's chipset is more powerful, should've gone for iPhone, but anyway the other reason is its display, the OnePlus 9 Pro has a 120Hz refresh rate, and also a Quad HD display panel which is really great. At this moment, I don't think most of the games actually supports Quad HD resolution yet, so it's probably useless. Let's start with the unboxing. So I bought the 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage unit in morning mist color. And the best thing is, it comes with a 65 watt charger, and it goes 1 to 100% in just 29 minutes. Now let's talk about the gaming performance, I only played few games, mostly PUBG Mobile, but if this OnePlus 9 Pro can handle PUBG Mobile in extreme conditions then I'm sure it can run other games as well. By the way I'm playing at HDR extreme graphic settings since 90fps isn't out yet. And the best way to run a benchmark is by landing in bootcamp, because everyone knows that bootcamp is a place where every phone lags, and we are already started getting frame drops. And remember this is with anti-aliasing turned off, if it's on, then you would lose even more frames. And on average we are getting about 56 fps in bootcamp at HDR extreme graphics settings. And on smooth extreme the average fps is 58. So I think OnePlus 9 Pro needs some optimization, because we gotta hit at least 59 fps constant at smooth extreme. And also I played Ganshin Impact at fully maxed out settings. And we were getting about 47 fps on average, and the battery drains really fast. Anyway this phone has a curved edge display, which is a really big issue for mobile gamers, because it can cause a lot of touch issues while playing games. Especially if you play claw, usually, for me my palm will accidentally touch the bottom left edge of the display. And the device will register it as touch input, and it causes accidental touch and messes up your aim and also the gaming experience. This issue is not just for this OnePlus 9 Pro, it's for every phone with a curved edge display. Sometimes it also happens on my iPhone 11, but since I use a really thick case, it will prevent my palm from touching the edges of the screen. By the way, I found a temporary solution or a fix for this issue. I use double-sided tape around the edges of the screen especially the bottom left edge, as you can see in the video. This double-sided tape will prevent my palm from touching the screen. You need to make sure that the double-sided tape gives at least 1 cm gap from the screen, as shown here as an example. So now the tape will stop or prevent your palm from touching the edge of the screen. Anyway if you're facing any accidental touch or miss touch issues, this method might help you. And overall it can run all games just like the other gaming phones, since they got the same chipset, but gaming phones have a better cooling system, so you can play a little bit longer, but the real difference would be just 3-5% in terms of cooling. So the OnePlus 9 Pro is as good as the gaming phones, but you don't get the gaming features such as air triggers and etc. But I've been using iPhone 11 for more than a year, and it's well optimized, and I think iPhone feels faster and smoother and stable. Even though OnePlus has a 360Hz touch response rate, I feel the iPhone's touch will register faster, even though it has a 120Hz touch response rate that's less than half of OnePlus 9 Pros, that's because of iOS optimization. And also I will do the Android versus iPhone comparison later when the 90fps update comes out. Anyway that's all I got for this video, I hope you liked it, and if you're thinking of buying OnePlus 9 Pro to play games, it's great, but I wouldn't recommend buying this phone, because there is nothing special about it, and it's kinda overpriced. And see you guys in the next video, enjoy my bot gameplay. I want you to show me how to get to know
ain't the same